All right guys, I don't know if you could tell, but it is dang hot out here. And especially working over the fire, it's even hotter. I got sweat dripping over my face, but today's the day I have off and so I'm melting the lead. To melt my scrap, I use a Harbor Freight Weed Burner propane torch and a nice stack of cinder blocks. I got this cast iron Dutch oven on sale pretty cheap. It holds a lot of lead and works great for this. First, I'll be melting down all the dental x-ray lead foils. I try to sort out the black x-ray papers as well as the plastic sleeves that sometimes get left behind in the jar. They make lots of stinky smoke when you leave them behind. The Dutch oven lid helps retain heat and melt the lead faster. To hold the ingot molds and ingots, I'm using my trusty plastic folding table. I put a wood board on top to prevent the table from melting. As you can tell by all the smoke, I missed some of those black x-ray papers. Burnt paper is really stinky stuff. I scoop out the garbage on top, the dross, with some cheapy dollar store kitchen utensils and throw it into a number 10 can. Once I get most of the dross out, I'm ready to flux. For flux, today I am using some sawdust from my chop saw. Usually sawdust, wax, or a combination of both will work great for fluxing. I just throw a scoop or two of it in and stir it while it burns, also scraping the sides and bottom while stirring. Now I'm ready to pour ingots. For ingot molds, I'm using a few Lees, a cast iron sausage cooker I got off of Amazon, and the one, two, and four pound ingot molds from NOE. This kitchen ladle holds roughly two pounds of lead. on top of my table gets nice and burnt but the table remains insulated and undamaged below. I'm done with the lead foils so now I'm melting down the stained glass window scrap. I try to pull out the shards of glass, nails, and other junk as I find it but I don't get it all. Most of the smoke you see coming off is from the glue, sealants, and paper. Then, I skim and flux it just like I did with the x-ray lead. didn't get all seven buckets done, but I did do four of the seven. And here is the finished product. So all in all, I counted these up and I have 265 pounds of ingots now. 